Hello everyone, Danny Boyle 4 here again with another video looking at the new and improved WZ121. It just got a buff again. This this is one of my favorite medium tanks at tier 10. This E50M and T22 are all my favorites. But this may be my new favorite since the buff. I'm not sure what else they buffed besides the reload or if it was just the reload, but it went from 8.0 to 7.3 now. Which is insane. I don't know why Wargaming decided to buff it. I thought it was a fantastic tank to begin with. 122mm gun, 400 average alpha, and just a s one second aim time. It can, it can do some amazing things. Now, shooting on the move, good luck with that. You're not going to hit anything. The dispersion sucks on the move. But, if you stop and wait a second, it will aim in. You can hit anything. Um, and there's the new Pogetto there. I'll, I'll have another video on the new auto-loading system or auto reloader soon but here as you can see I can easily get shots on the M46 just peek out hold down and hold down this thing is a beast to deal with you, you can't you can't pin it you can't really do anything um, and now has the same reload as the FE215B and the WZ113 so over 3000 3, DPM very very nice and here I am just gonna keep farming. These, me these mediums have no chance. And I have TDs, the Foch, supporting me. So yeah, this Foch and uh, me work pretty well this game together. Nice bounce. The armor on this thing, I would take this over T62A and OBJ140 any day. It's got, it's, got, it's faster, gets up and goes faster. It's got more armor. It's got the same aim time, but better alpha. And now with a DPM that can keep up with the Objective 140 and T62A. It's it's a great tank. It really is. I highly recommend it. The lineup to it is it's pretty pretty good. The tier seven I think is amazing. I love the tier seven. The tier eight is pretty good. The tier nine with the 122 millimeter gun has three degrees of gun depression, which really sucks. And this one has six degrees of gun depression, so twice that, which is very good for a Chinese. Um, Chinese and Russian medium tanks. Now, this the KP pin is not very good, so if you just angle a little bit, and it, it won't be able to pin you. Which is what I do here. Just wiggle back and forth, wiggle back and forth, and bounces off my side. And now I'm just gonna circle of death. And with adrenaline, the reload is 6.1, which is very nice. Here again, I'll wiggle back and forth, face hug a little, and it'll bounce right off. This was a very quick and very easy game. Didn't really lose a lot of hit points, and I would just gotta clean up this four. So a very good tank in general. I highly recommend, um, especially since the buff. It's it's insane now. I wouldn't call it overpowered, but I'd call it very, very strong. Th that's what I said there. You, you can't hit anything on the move. Very rarely. It's like an IS-5 when you're on the move. I'm gonna finish. Good game. Not the not the highest amount of damage, but a pretty solid game. Four point seven K, which is pretty good. And the T ninety five, he did pretty well as pretty good as well, but died unfortunately. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Have a good day.